Hello there everyone, GMEC again, back with another video. Doing a little bit of work on the plow truck, what I call the green truck, and just thought I'd show you what I did. Uh, starter uh, sometimes would uh, not quite turn over right, and to my knowledge it was the original starter yet, so I just took and replaced it. Simple easy on this engine, two bolts. Technically three with the starter wire going down, but uh, while I was in here, I took and cleaned up my cables. It's a very important thing for uh, wintertime maintenance coming up here. I know it's only September, but just uh, this thing's due for uh, inspection where I live right now anyway, so there's some work I had to do, but I thought I'd show you. So I replaced the starter in this, so we'll go underneath the truck and I'll show you. Okay, here we are down underneath the truck here. You can see the starter nice and brand new two two bolts here One here and one back here. This holds one side on the transmission That bolts into the starter and then this one bolts into the Into the transmission and then while I was in here the line The electric line that went to the starter it was getting to be pretty wore out. So I replaced that and then here you can see where I got some new pipe, cut, cut them off, welded them in here. I did that here and here and just went and replaced all the clamps. And uh, all total here I have uh, about 40 bucks in with the pipe and then I had to put a new tailpipe on this one here. But uh, you know, real simple, just thought I'd show a quick video on uh, quick tip here I mean it's self-explanatory with taking it apart and welding videos uh, you can see my welding video is pretty, pretty much the same as welding a mower deck um, but uh, just uh, quick tips here on uh, save you money on your vehicle I mean 40 bucks here is no big deal to me and that that starter only cost me uh, what was that oh 40 about four, yeah, maybe 50 bucks for that starter and I did it myself and here you can see the reason why that I took and replaced that cable because it was all corroded and green inside and like I said I went through and uh, cleaned up all the battery terminals got it all cleaned up and she should be ready to go and here's the best part and so the best part about this is when uh, you go to start the truck and it starts over real easy it's like a happy revolution to start it. Exhaust sounds pretty good. Don't think we have any more leaks. I really didn't have any leaks before anyway, but it was about ready to fall off. So, but uh, another quick tip video here on uh, DIY in your own vehicle. But thanks for watching. This is GMEC. Like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. And uh, remember, keep on wrenching, and we'll see you next time.